Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. I don't know why you're so upset when you still have a ton of money, dude. What, what do you mean? I mean, you are... You are I'm not upset. You're the one that just swore. I'm actually quite happy and thankful I live in the greatest country ever to exist. Excuse me for swearing. I feel like this entire getup is just you afraid of losing your economic and like white male privilege. Wait, what privilege do I have as a white person? A sunburn. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Just no, 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 no. You know, it was nice to meet you. Can you can I, I check your hand? Uh, yeah, but can you explain can I check your hand? me? It was nice to meet you. What? I'd like you to think what about does, the what? way your actions affect other people, not just the white male people in this country, no, no, but, but everybody in this country. What does being a white person have think to do about, about anything? The one thing you have to notice about all of these woke people is that once they can't answer a question or once they can't even argue points, all they do is resort to either swearing, cursing, and then inevitably just walking away because they can't defend their positions. It's the same thing over and over again. And these people are just not intelligent people is all it really is. You'd be a real man and have a period. And what would you say to all the everyone who says no? Y'all are stupid, uneducated. Where are you buying your drugs? Can you share? Okay, what brought you out here today? Uh, I just, I wanted to hang out with my friends. I've actually been here twice today. I went home and got changed. So This was like a week-long event. Yeah. So have you been here for several no, other events? No, only today. Um, yeah. Um, but I, I came out here to celebrate with friends, uh, be comfortable in my skin, too, and just feel comfortable. And so I just... I don't know. It's, everything just draws me. This is my, like, a lot. I've been to Pride multiple times. I've been to one over in Ohio and all that. It's <laughs> yeah. it's really great. Wonderful. It's a great so you said you went home and got changed. Did you get changed into yes, this? Yes. Okay, explain this for me because I don't think a lot of people will understand. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I just like to feel comfortable in my skin. Mm -hmm. So I just wear whatever I want. Okay. And especially during big events, I like to just dress how I feel. Okay. And so... Um, this was just for fun. Okay. Uh, I love collars, so I wear those. Okay. Um, but everything else is just kind of pride, whatever I feel comfortable in. America racist? Absolutely. In what way? What do you mean? Like financially, like if, if there's two homeless people, you know, and one was white and one was black or Mexican, I think majority of the people would help the white person, you know? Do you think that we give more welfare and more social benefits to black people or white people? Uh, the poor. It doesn't matter what race you are? No, it doesn't matter, no. So if you're black or white, you can get help and... Yeah, 100%. And 100%. It's equal all across the board. And we are a democracy, right? So people yeah. must have voted that in, right? Yeah, no doubt. So if we're racist and that's a problem, then wouldn't we vote in policies that would only help white people? Never. No, no, nobody would ever allow that. Not even the whites would allow that because it's racist. I think that like the welfare help out more with like the uh, like uh, African Americans and stuff like that versus the white. But we're so, so if we're if the, you know the, the, the racism still around. There's obviously there's some ignorant people out there, but for the most part, that the, um, it's it's pretty much eliminated across the board like uh you know um structurally like with, like uh as far as like um structure goes right so if we're racist then why did white people vote for welfare and and benefits and things that would help black people that i don't know i mean uh yeah i don't know once again to all the viewers who are watching and all the people who are subscribed to my channel this is not a joke she really just said if there are two people one being white and one being black and they're both homeless i believe and i'll put in quotes i believe that they'll help the white person more is there any evidence for this no but she has went on to say that white homeless people are privileged you cannot make this up and men menstruate yes and why do you say yes because i do you do and i'm a man so why 
was it necessary for you to say that Torino couldn't beat the 700th player in uh, the men's circuit? She's the greatest female player that ever lived. Then the lady said to me, why did you say woman? Why don't you just say the greatest tennis player that ever lived? And so then I felt the need to just say what I really felt. I'm yes. just waiting. Would wait. you like to apologize? No. Because it seems in tennis, unlike other sports that they're always asking about, how would he do against Serena? Why don't you combine, just solve the problem? I'm sure the men would be all for this. Men and women play together. And then we don't have to guess. I'm tired of people apologizing for things that we all know to be true. Even Serena Williams went on to say herself that she would struggle against men. But here are these woke liberal media outlets complaining and arguing about some stupid stuff that is just basic understanding of facts. These people are just plain stupid and there's no other words to describe what they are. Before we get back into the video, I need everyone to turn on their post notifications so that you get notified whenever one of my videos come out. Like the video as much as possible, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Yinka that guy. Let us get back into the video. Do you think it's fair for males to identify as women to compete in women's sports? Absolutely. I think that it's less about what you're born with and more about what you can do with it. So do you think we should just eliminate the categories of sport altogether? Absolutely. I think it should all be one big, just everybody needs to get along better. I am going to go on to say that this man has never played a sport in his life because it's all the people who've never played sports who say the rubbish that these people say. These people are completely devoid of reality and they say absolute nonsense. Grab my hand. Pete. Pete. In the recent past, you've advocated for the outright eradication of transgenderism from public life. Do you sincerely believe that I should be subject to punitive justice on the basis of what I'm wearing? And if so, are you willing to turn yourself in for wearing women's panties in your gay college film? I would encourage you to, to behave as a man is what I would do, because you, you are a man. You might hate me for telling you the truth, but I think the truth will set you free. And furthermore, your masquerading as a woman does infringe on the legitimate rights of other people, the rights of women to have their own bathrooms. I don't know if you're an athlete, but the rights of uh, women to have their own sports leagues and the like. That, that is not something that you have a right to do, no matter how sincerely you believe the fantasy that you're a woman. As to that Yale thesis film, I was a professional actor, but you play one half gay guy in a Yale thesis film one time, so all anybody wants to talk about. And by the way, that is the most heterosexual thing that has ever been produced at Yale University, okay? Are you voting for Trump? Yep. White supremacist. How? How can you say that? How can I say if you vote for Donald Trump, you're a white supremacist? How? How? Because you support that man in office. That's not an argument. I'm going to need proof that that makes me a white supremacist. You're going to have to break down the I, argument. I that it's not my job to say that. You just accused me of being a white supremacist. You should you be able to back that up. Trump? Are you voting for Donald Trump? I sure am. That's my, that's my proof. Are you voting for Joe Biden? Yes, I am. Then you're a pedophile. No. Yes, you are. a pedophile. You're a pedophile. How? You like to sniff kids. A woman has gone viral because she has a PhD and she took an IQ test next to some guy that she thought was just a dumb rube hillbilly. And the dumb rube hillbilly did better on the IQ test than she did. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, me, I don't know. PhD, <laughs> cancer oh, biology oh. scientist. Oh, I work in a biotech company. We make COVID 19 testing kits, oh. stuff like that. And then six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. <laughs> One of the biggest downsides to university expansion and to credentialism is that it convinces people that they're much smarter than they are. Because unfortunately in today's world, college and university is not what it seems to be. All it is is a series of things you have to follow and most of it is theory depending on the degree you take. These people are devoid of actually having to use their critical thoughts to solve things in the real world so they think they're smart because they've got a degree and it's supposedly seen as a status symbol when these people aren't as smart as they claim to be. White lives matter. White lives? No, not in the slightest. Yes, they tried to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. I really don't give a fuck about white lives. We're gonna get really political. I don't wanna go there. All lives matter. It's just... oh no, 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 no. All lives matter. I'm glad that brother put that out there because he started a whole bunch of constant conversation. Man, you're hard to talk to. Really, why? Because you're making me think that all my answers are wrong. <laughs> no right or wrong answer, it's just your opinion. 
This is a minute almost up. It's almost as if black supremacists exist. Nah, that's not true, actually. Transgender boys who might not have their own money to go buy tampons. If they're provided free in the bathroom, it's, it's a huge plus. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now, you can call yourself whatever you don't want. don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. non-binary people. <clears throat> Only Menstruating women. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to it cis is. women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why you're, my body menstruated are, at some point. If your chromosomes are XX and you're young, you menstruate. Cool. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary? We're not excluding men. a whole group of they're, people They're women that dressed menstruate. as men. You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life and tell me what a man is. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the, 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 the science of this as an the example? Science. When, when we've learned sex and gender identity are two very, they're completely different things. They're not completely different They are things. completely different. They're completely different words. And sex is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up.